And the Eskimos have they made their pick with the fourth selection. Brock Sunderland's crew takes Tomas Jack Cordilla from the University of Buffalo offensive lineman. Well, and with this, I think you satisfy a couple of things. I think that you do get the best player available, the most immediate source of help available. You're talking about a guy who is considered one of the two most pro-ready offensive linemen in this draft, the other being Carter O'Donnell, who is signed with the NFL's Indianapolis Colts. So this is a guy who's going to be here on day one, is going to compete. Now, he's small in the land of the the land of trees that is the Edmonton Eskimos offensive line at 6'3", just over 300 pounds. But this is a guy who is not going to overwhelm you physically, but a very good football player playing on a University of Buffalo offensive line that was among the best in Division I football. And again, when you talk about being pro-ready, this is a guy who has been a four-year starter at that level since he was a true freshman, Ches. Yeah, and you mentioned Carter O'Donnell uh, and being pro-ready. I thought this was a pick that they might go Carter O'Donnell just because they don't need any, there's no immediate need for a national to start right now. But that just tells me how much they like this young man. Low man wins is what they say on the offensive line. And, and watch this gentleman play. He's consistently uh, got great leverage and he's playing, pull up the film. They played Penn State and they got, they got NFL defensive linemen this year at Penn State. They came out this year at Penn State. So uh, he's more than holding his own against these guys. Uh, he is pro ready uh, and he'll step in and, and compete right away. Yeah, and I think absolutely what we saw the Edmonton Eskimos just do right now is go with best player available. And again, they're starting three Canadians on the offensive line, so this gives them some depth, gives them some flexibility. But they love the things that you guys talked about, a four-year starter. There aren't that many Canadians that are four-year starters at an NCAA Division I school, and they believe that he'll be able to come in and compete right away because he has that label, as you guys suggested, pro-ready.